सेल कल्चर लॉस ड्यू टू कंटामिनेशन इज़ अ यूनिवर्सल प्रॉब्लम मैनी टाइम्स आई गॉट अ कंटामिनेशन इन माई सेल कल्चर एंड आई एम श्योर यू गाइज ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंसड द सेम सिचुएशन एक्चुअली ऑल सेल कल्चर लेबोरेटरीज एंड सेल कल्चर वर्कर्स हैव एक्सपीरियंसड दिस सिचुएशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर मानुषी सिद्धार्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सेल कल्चर कंटामिनेशन स्पेसिफिकली बायोलॉजिकल कंटामिनेशन इन डिटेल्स सो लेट्स बिगिन कल्चर कंटामिनेंट्स में भी बायोलॉजिकल और केमिकल सीन और अनसीन डिस्ट्रक्टिव और सीमिंगली बिनाइन बट इन ऑल केसेज दे एडवर्सली अफेक्ट बोथ द यूज ऑफ योर सेल कल्चर्स एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ योर रिसर्च कंटामिनेशन प्रॉब्लम कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री क्लासेज फर्स्ट इज माइनर एन्यूएंसिस वेयर योर कल्चर आर ओकेजनली लॉस्ड ड्यू टू कंटामिनेशन सेकेंडली सीरियस प्रॉब्लम्स वेयर योर एंटायर कल्चर लॉस्ड ड्यू टू इंक्रीज फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ कंटामिनेशन थर्डली मेजर कटेस्ट्रॉप्स वेन यू डिस्कवर कंटामिनेंट्स इन यूर कल्चर एंड यू आर फोर्स टू थिंक वेदर कंटामिनेंट्स कम फ्रॉम प्रेजेंट और योर पास्ट वर्क कंटामिनेशन ऑफ सेल कल्चर इज द मोस्ट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम एनकाउंटर्ड इन सेल कल्चर लेबोरेटरीज समटाइम्स विद वेरी सीरियस कंसिक्वेंसिस सेल कल्चर कंटामिनेशन कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू मेन कैटेगरीज केमिकल कंटामिनेंट्स एंड बायोलॉजिकल कंटामिनेंट्स केमिकल कंटामिनेंट्स सच एज इम्प्यूरिटीज इन मीडिया सिरा एंड वाटर एंडोटॉक्सिनस प्लास्टिसाइजर्स एंड डिटर्जेंट्स वेयर एज बायोलॉजिकल कंटामिनेंट्स इंक्लूड्स बैक्टीरिया मोल्ड्स ईस्ट वायरसिस माइक्रोप्लाज्मा एज वेल एज क्रोस कंटामिनेशन बाय अदर सेल लाइन्स Bacteria, mold, and yeast are easy to detect, whereas viruses, microplasma, and cross-contamination are hard to detect. So now, first coming to bacteria. Bacteria are a large and ubiquitous group of unicellular microorganisms. They are typically a few micrometer in diameter and can have a variety of shapes, ranging from spheres to rods and spirals, because of their ubiquity, size. and fast growth rates bacteria along with yeast and molds are the most commonly encountered biological contaminants in cell culture bacterial contamination can be detected easily by visual inspection of this culture if your culture becomes turbid or hazy or cloudy within a few days or if you observe a thin film on the surface of the culture so guys your culture is contaminated now in bacterial contamination there will be a sudden drop in ph of the culture medium and countered when you observed your culture under low power microscope the bacteria appears as tiny moving granules between the cells and observation under a high power microscope you can dissolve the shapes of individual bacteria these images showed an e coli contamination in adherent 293 cell culture next is yeast yeast are unicellular eukaryotic microorganisms in the kingdom of fungi ranging in size from few micrometer up to 40 micrometers like the bacterial contamination yeast contaminated cultures also showed turbidity in advanced stages there is very little change in the ph of the contaminated culture in this case ph usually increases when the yeast contamination becomes heavy when you observed under microscopy yeast appear as individual ovoid or spherical particles that may but of smaller particles the image showed the yeast infected adherent 293 cell culture Molds are eukaryotic microorganisms in the kingdom of fungi. They grow as multicellular filament that is known as hyphae. A connected network of hyphae contain genetically identical nuclei and they are referred to as a mycelium. Similar to yeast contamination, initially the pH of the culture remains stable, then rapidly increases as the culture become more heavily infected and then culture become turbid. Under microscopy, the mycelia usually appear as thin wisp like filaments and sometimes as denser clumps of spores 
These spores have an ability to survive in extremely harsh environments in their dormant stages and they become active when they encounter suitable growth conditions. Viruses are microscopic infectious agents that take over the host cell machinery to reproduce. Their extremely small size makes them very difficult to detect in culture and to remove them from reagent used in cell culture laboratories. Because most viruses have very stringent requirements for their host, they usually do not adversely affect cell cultures from species other than their host. However, using virally infected cell cultures can present a serious health hazards to the laboratory personnel, especially if human or primate cells are cultured in the laboratory. Viral infection of cell cultures can be detected by electron microscopy, immunostaining with a panel of antibodies, ELISA assays, or PCR with appropriate viral primers. Mycoplasma are simple bacteria that lack a cell wall and they are considered the smallest self-replicating organisms. Due to their extremely small size, mycoplasma are very difficult to detect. They didn't show any visible sign of infection until they achieve extremely high densities and affect the cell culture badly. Some slow-growing mycoplasma may persist in culture without causing cell death, but they can alter the behavior and metabolism of the host cell in the culture. Chronic mycoplasma infections might manifest themselves with decreased rate of cell proliferation, reduced saturation density, and agglutination in suspension cultures. The only assured way of detecting mycoplasma contamination is by testing the cultures periodically using fluorescence staining, ELISA, PCR, immunostaining, autoradiography, or microbiological assays. While not as common as microbial contamination, extensive cross-contamination of many cell lines with HeLa and other fast-growing cell lines is a clearly established problem with serious consequences. Some practices that will help you avoid cross-contamination that includes obtain the cell lines from reputable cell banks, keep an eye on the characteristics of the cell lines periodically, and practicing good aseptic technique. You can confirm the presence or absence of gross contamination of cell lines by using DNA fingerprinting, karyotype analysis, and isotype analysis. The most obvious consequence of cell culture contamination is a loss of your time, money, and effort spent developing cultures and setting up experiments. There are the adverse effects on cultures suffering from undetected chemical or biological contaminants. These hidden contaminants can achieve high densities altering the growth and characteristics of their culture. If you are using these cryptically contaminated cultures, there are chances to obtain inaccurate results unknowingly. Products such as vaccines, drugs or monoclonal antibodies manufactured by these cultures will probably be useless. For some researchers, the most serious consequence of contamination is suffering the embarrassment and damage to their reputation that results when they notify collaborator or journals that their experimental results are faulty and must be retracted due to contaminants in their cultures. Preventing all cell culture contamination has long been the dream of many researchers, but it is an impractical. Contamination cannot be totally eliminated, but it can be managed to reduce both its frequency of occurrence and the seriousness of its consequences. So this is the reference slide. So this is the end of the video. Hope you like it. Thank you for listening. For more conceptual videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and give thumbs up, share if you like this video. Stay tuned. Take care.